Greeting, greeting, greeting in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, my name is Apostle Peter Daniel. You are watching me in Heaven and Air Live program. We, the one we used to do and uh, where we used to share encounters of those who have gone to Heaven and Air. And the encounter I also have with Jesus Christ. Uh, by the special grace of God, uh, I have another revelation I have to share to the world especially to the people who is mainly consigned. Uh, today, the Lord spoke to me about some certain people which I need to cheer into them. Urgency is a matter of emergency. Emergency. I mean emergency. I pray the Lord God will help us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Uh, by the special grace of God, Today, as I was heading to the office, the ministry office, the Lord spoke to me widely and clearly. He spoke to me about the gospel artist. Gospel artist. Gospel artist. I mean, the people, the, the, the gospel singers, the people we all know as a singers and which their song has been working effectively and making a move in the christendom the artist the lord is sending me to them right now is a matter of a serious something so the lord is sending me to them now he's sending me to them please as you are watching me now i want you to share this video everywhere i want this video to go viral because it's a message that i have to get to where they are it's a message that i have to reach them they have to hear it the lord said as you say it in social media in youtube here yeah, so that when they come across it they might repent of their ways and from the iniquity and the sin they are committing in the presence of god the lord is very serious and and sincere with what he's telling me i pray in the mighty name of jesus for them all that they will not end up in hell in Jesus name as I was going today I was listening to one of their songs as I was listening the Lord spoke to me expressly he spoke to me and he asked me to warn them seriously it's a matter of emergency please I pray if this video get to them pride will not allow them to reject the message i pray that by the time they come across the video they will not say that we is the one talking we is the one god is sending to us because this is a matter of their destinations the lord begin to tell me he begin to mention their names in my ear please if you are hearing me now share this video everywhere share this video everywhere make sure it get to your friends to your family let it get to everywhere the first name that the lord god mentioned to me is mercy she will Mercy the Lord gave me a message to them one after the other. But before I talk about the message God is giving me to all of them, I want you to understand something. I am not saying that their song is not acceptable in heaven. And I'm not saying that their song is corrupted. And I am not saying I'm not coming to that area. That is not where God is sending me to. In fact, I have their songs in my phones. I hear them. I'm not saying that their, their, their voice is not making a part. Neither is their song not making it. It's making a part. But it is. The Lord is giving me a personal message to their own personal life. Their own personal life. So that after they have they might have worked for god they will not end up in hell failure 
after they might have made an impact in the life of people, believing that God is with them, they will not end up in hell. If we talk about gift that you are you are receiving your son from the spirit, that doesn't mean that God heaven is sure. This is a thing, this is one of the things that is making a confusion in the church. That you begin to bragado, speak in tongues. That doesn't mean you speak in tongues and the dead man come to life. That doesn't mean that you can go to heaven. The matter of spiritual interactions, spiritual interactions, spiritual dimensions that makes you to rot miracle or that makes you to go, you know, to, to, to enter into the realm is just a matter of principle. When you follow the principle, the guidelines, the Lord releases it to you. The Lord releases the, the grace to you. That now that you are now singing and people are shedding tears under your ministration, that doesn't mean your name is written in the book of life. The Bible says, it says when the disciples they have gone, Jesus shows the disciple to go and go and preach the gospel. After they have preached the gospel, the Bible said they were coming back. They were rejoicing, happily rejoicing that, oh Lord, you have done it. And they said, sir, sir, do you know that you wake up the dead as you are coming? As you are going to preach? In fact, I'm the one that I, I pray and the, the dead might come back to life. Jesus Christ says, he said, true, true, I confirm it. Because I can see the devil falling like a lightning. He said, but don't be rejoiced. Don't rejoice in this miracle. But rejoice that your name is in the book of life. That is the most important thing. You can rot miracle. You can be used by God. But not getting home. Then what is the benefit of your song? What is the benefit of your own impact in Christendom, in the church, without you getting home? <laughs> That home, that is the most important thing. It's not just the impact. It's not just the song. But the what? The home. Getting home. The Lord said, as you want mercy shingle, that you should repent. I don't say you are not a Christian. But you are not fully born again. The Lord wants you to live a holy life. Forget the pastor that you are worshipping in their church. And try to cajole the word of God. Try to twist the word of God. In a way that will sweet you. Forget that uh, you said yeah, you have been in Christ and this and that. Forget it. You are still wearing trousers. You are still wearing attachment in your hair head you are still putting on earring and all this worldliness the clothes you wear doesn't glorify god because they are too worldly this will take you to hell the lord said as you warn you it's a clear message i received today i received it clearly see most of their name are not written in the book of life it's not there It's not there. It's not there. It's not there. Most of their name are not there. The Lord said, I should tell you, Messenger, to come back to Christ. I'm talking about living a holy life, not just singing for God, but personal relationship, personal repentance that will take away the things of the world. When you are in the world, it's the same clothes you are wearing. We had your testimony. You talk about uh, the time that uh, you are in the world where you are still, you know, 
and how you came back to Christ. When they look at the picture you are in the world and the picture of your in Christ, they are the same thing. The clothes is the same, the way you dress is the same. The only difference is the song. So, where is now the Christ in you? When a cry, when somebody received Christ, everything about him or her changed totally. There's a total timetable. There's a total personality. There's a total man. Changing a total one. It's not going to be the same. So when you begin to wear things that is the same, two things that is the same with the things of the world, you are not yet born again, my sister. We have seen many men of God who have once seen Jesus Christ and still end up in hell. It doesn't matter. So you have to repent. Please. This might, might hurt you because, you know, because of the level you are now. But I will tell you this is the true message that God gave me to tell you people. Another person I want to mention is uh, Frank Edward. Frank Edward. Yes. The last said that you are doing well, you are singing, but worldliness is also the same thing. Worldliness. Worldliness. Please change. Change from this kind of things. Our God is holy. It's not what you qualify you, you classify as holiness that God is. His own holiness is totally different from what you people are classifying him. You will be thinking and say holiness, holiness. But you too, you do understand what it means to live a holy life. Holiness within and without. Without which no man shall see God. Please, God has taken you to a high place. Yes. But, my brother, try, try, and come back to Christ in full righteousness and holiness. We want uh, another message is uh, Stephen Crown. Stephen Crown, please. The rate God wanted to use you is high. But you have given yourself to worldliness too. Ah, but I'm not wearing anything that thing. Out of the people that is going around with you. So please, all of you as I'm mentioning your name, go back to God and go and reconcile. He told me personally, how will you be singing for God and your name is not in the book of life? It's not a good thing. It's just a waste. Something. Go back to God. Ada, A, or something like that. A, C, or A, I don't know. You, you are so, I'm not here to judge anyone. But what you are, you are, in fact, you are not representing Christ at all. And I know the cause of these things is the church he goes. The pastors we have right now, the world honor them, but they are God is crying over them. And they are the one trying to turn things all around. Against the will of God. Most of this singer come from there. Against the will of God. So please, Ada, go and give your life a fresh. It is not what your pastor says that will take you to heaven, but it is what the scripture says that will take you to heaven. God is not going to judge you by your pastor, but by your personal deed and the scripture. Wearing, the, wearing, wearing different kind of things, shame. I don't, 
these are worldly. How can you say you are a gospel artist and dressly worthy? Placing you and people who are in the world, nothing is different. You even wear trousers to sing for God as a woman, wearing what belongs to man. Somebody will say, ah, why are you judging them by their appearance, my brother and sister? You will only know the fruit that is ripe by its color. The old man is manifesting in your life. You are saying that they are judging you by, the, by appearance. Tell me the difference, be, the difference between you and the worldly people. Some of you, I won't mention it. Some of you went to the went as far as going to marine world to go and collect things so that you can become famous. But I pray that when God gave me the grace, I will begin to mention names. Go far just because you want to become famous. So either go and give your life to Jesus newly and freshly. Freshly. I mean genuinely. Not just, not just singing for God. The song you are singing that God is sad and crying over. Though people are dancing to it, they are hearing it. But to heaven is a sad matter. Sinners. The person I want to talk about is sinners. Well, I will also tell you the same thing. Worldliness will not take you to heaven. Rather, it will end you to hell. God is not a respecter of any man. He's not a respecter of any man. Irrespective of how you have sinned for Christ. Irrespective of the level you have reached, whether internationally or locally, the judgment remains the same. Do you even know that the same judgment that God is going to give to the poor man, poorest, is the same thing he's going to give to you? In heaven, there's no category, category there. No category A, category B. These ones are opposed to. Opposed to line up here. Pastor to line up here. No. You are going to receive same judgment. Base. On your lifestyle. Those who are living holiness. And wearing the same things. Decent clothes. Not attaching their ears. Head with ears. Woman hears. Do you think they are full? Or you think that they are the one that, you know, <laughs> they don't know what they are doing? Please be careful. I want to talk about uh, GUC. Please wherever this message reach i want you to send it to them please do you see the lord is sending me to you truly the grace of god is upon your life the anointing of the lord is sure But worldliness is still in you. I'm not saying you are not in Christ. You are in Christ. But worldliness is still in you. What's the meaning of you using sin? Using unchains. The people who are singing with you wearing trousers. These are the things that is making God angry. Do you know that little things can take someone to hell? Do you remember what the Bible says? In the book of James, chapter 2. 
We are going to look it together. James chapter 2, verses 10. Yes. He said, For whosoever shall keep the old law and yet offend in one point, he is guilty of all. Maybe I should repeat it again. James chapter 2, verse 10. For whosoever shall keep the old law and yet offend in one point, he is guilty of all. All. If you live a holy life, you do everything, but shame, only shame, and shame is what you put. The God created you with unshame. What does unshame have to do with Christianity? Does it glorify God? Does it honor God? Thank God that clothes is for covering your clo your body. Shoe is for covering your leg. You see? But what does the unshame do, does? Is he honoring God? What does he do? This is where you're supposed to know that this sin is committed. It's a, it's a sin entirely. Is he honoring God? Putting shade in your neckness. What is it called? It's worldliness. You and David, you and worldly people, what is the difference there? Nothing different. The wear change, the wear. The only difference is that you sing goes through and they sing worldly. But to God, the things of this world is in your life. Jesus said something. He said, the priest of this world comment and he findeth nothing in me. When Satan come to Jesus, he look at Jesus Christ's appearance. He look at he go into the spiritual life. He go into the mind. He go everywhere. He didn't find his instrument in his life. He didn't find his instrument in his life. And I see that the same thing. It's also the same message is going to Theophilus Sunday. Theophilus Sunday is the same thing. We are in chains in your hands. We are in chains as a minister of God. Putting bangles in your hand, bands, and severally, and you are holding microphone, proclaiming the anointing of prayers in the life of people, but you yourself. You are still in addictions of these things. The things of the world is still in you. And you say God is looking at art. And the Lord is not saying, He said your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. When He said your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, do you think He didn't know what He's saying? He said, and the Holy Spirit leave it in, leave it in you. He said your body has been purchased with a price. Your body has been purchased with a price. A price. So it means your body is no more your home. It belongs to God. It should be honor for God. It belongs to God. So why hell in this war will you be wearing bangles, wearing chains, and speak, still be speaking in tongues, carrying the fire of prayer to the churches? I am saying this not to but so that when you come across I pray God give you the humility heart to listen and to accept if this chain of a thing is not a taboo in God's presence the Bible says he said Jacob was going to Bethel and he told his wife he said listen to me we are going to the house of God he said all your chain, all your earring, bury them. The Bible said they remove their rings, their earrings, their chains, their necklace. They remove it and they bury it, and they go in the holy standard before God. All these things you have read, all these things you have known, why are you still using them? That you see. The issue of God using somebody to sing or to speak in tongues. The issue of God using someone to speak or to speak in tongues, to sing or to speak in tongues, is a gift. 
The Bible talk about gift is without repentance. In the book of Romans chapter 11. Romans chapter 11. That doesn't qualify somebody to go to heaven. Chapter 11 verse 20, 29. He said, for the gift, you see, I'm reading Romans chapter 11 verse 29. He said, for the gift and calling of God are without repentance. So when God called you, and going God grant you the gift of any kind, power of any kind, he doesn't collect it back. But yet, that doesn't say the person is going to make it to heaven. Tons, you might have the grace. I'm not disputing the fact. I'm not saying you are satanic. No, 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 no. I'm not. But the thing is that, work on your personal self. Do not carry fire around. Or carry grace of heaven around Make sure your name are written in the book of life. Do those who are around, but make sure your names are written in the book of life. I am not judging your personal appearance, but I'm telling you what I have from God today. Today, today. What I have from God today. Don't forget something. That there are different verses in the house. Verse. The Bible says there are some verses that is meant for honor. Let's look it together in the book of Second Timothy, chapter 2, verse 19. Second Timothy chapter 2, verse 19. Verse 19, 19 to 21. He said, Nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure. Having this tea seal, having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his, he know those who are that that are his. That are heavenly candidate. He said, He knoweth them. And let everyone that names the name of Christ depart from what? Iniquity is there. Secret iniquities. The one you sin in your secret part, in your room that nobody is seeing you. He said, Let them that name the name of God depart. Don't forget what happened. In the book of Matthew, chapter 7, verse 21, coming down. He said, and they will say unto him that day, we prophesy in your name. We, did, we, 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 we cast out demon in your name. We wrote miracle and signs and wonder in your name. But he will tell them that depart from me, you workers of iniquity. Anyone that we have, he said, he, said, he will tell them that he know them not. Any them, for God to use that as an example, he speaking to those people. Who he has given the grace and the gift to wrought miracles, to wrought size and wonder, to sing in kind in power. Their message always carry power, but he will tell them he did not name them because what they did not all know the standard of the world. The anointing you have might be what might be flowing. From your head to your toe, like error. But if holiness is not your way of life, heaven is not sure. You see? Let's continue. Verse 20. He said, But in the great house there are not only vessels of gold and silver, but also of wood and of earth. You see? And some to honor. And some to dishonor in the great house. 21. If a man therefore purge himself from this, listen to you, he shall be a vessel unto honor. Purge himself from this. 
it shall be a vessel of the honor sanctified and meet for the master use and prepare unto every good work if you are able to sanctify yourself Theophilus Sunday I listen to your, your message your message is making impact but your personal life is what I am saying your personal life is what I'm saying make sure that you make it at last my brother praying for 10 hours 21 hours 24 7 praying for 40 72 hours 30 days one week in fact no stop doesn't say your name is written there there's only one thing that makes your name to be there. Being born again. And the meaning of born again is regeneration from the carnality to spirituality. Living a holy life, a life of God himself. They are shame when Jesus Christ is alive and Jesus didn't use it. Their worldly appearance, worldly things, and Jesus didn't use it. There are things of the world, and Jesus didn't use it. The apostles didn't use it. They have the grace to use it, but they didn't use it. Be careful. It's a message of God. It's a warning to you. Don't be too proud to listen. Message, the voice of God, is like an armor. It might armor your heart. It might pain you. But accept it. The repenter of art is what matters. This is a message that God sent that I should tell you. So that in my own name, it will be written that I have done what he asked me to do. He told me clearly today. I hear it clearly. And speak your names to my ear. Theophilus, someday your name will apart. Those who speak to me, that should work. GUC, your name are apart. Sinners, your name apart. Tim Godfrey, your name apart. Steve Cran, your name are fair. Frank Edward, Adasi, Mercy Simu, your name are all there. There are names that have not called. He told me different things from, from that. That one is a different message. And I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to post it very soon. And the Lord bless you. And be with you in Jesus' name. God bless you. Remain blessed. Please, as you are watching this video, don't just go, don't go yet. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Because there are many things that is still coming which you have to partake. Subscribe and like. And share it. Share it to your friend, to your family. Prevention, this video can get to any of them. And they can repent. And it will be in our account that we have done the best. God bless you. God be with you. If you want to want to uh, chat with me on WhatsApp for deliverance prayer or for you to worship with us in the Zoom, in the Zoom, chat me with uh, plus 234-81-389-66287. Only chat me on WhatsApp and I will reply you. We used to do deliverance hour every 2 a.m. to 3 a.m. Every day, except Sunday. So we used to do it every day. Every day. Every day. Every day. So you can join us. You can join us for your personal deliverance from your addicted sin. And also, you can also join us in our live service. With the one we used to do, we call it heaven and hell. We used to do it every day too. 9 a.m. to 10.30. Done. That is where you will, be, you will hear the secret. There are things you have never heard before. The secrets of the kingdom, you begin to hear them. I pray you will not go to hell in Jesus' name. And if you want to, in any way or any way, if you want to ask questions, you can ask your questions. I pray the Lord will bless you and be with you in Jesus' name. Amen. Bye.